In this video, I will take one numerical on load analysis. Find power dissipated in 10 ohm register using nodal voltage method. This is the given circuit. Here we can see a 10 ohm register. We supposed to calculate power dissipated in this 10 ohm register using node analysis method or node voltage method. So this is the given circuit. So in node analysis method, here we can observe that this is one node. Let me call the voltage at this node is V1. Let voltage at this node is V2 and let voltage at this node is V3. So here the directions are shown in the circuit. Let me assume this is I1, this is I2, this is I3, current I3 and let I4, this is say I5. This is say I6 and this is say I7. Here I1 to I7 are branch currents. That is here I1 to I7 are branch currents. <coughs> so in node analysis, we should apply Kirchhoff's current law to each non-reference nodes here v1 v2 v3 are non-reference nodes and this is the reference node voltage at this node is zero volt so now let me apply kcl to node v1 that is apply kirchhoff's current law to node v1 so kirchhoff's current law says that incoming current is equal to outgoing current so at this node current 15 amp i1 and i2 are incoming 12 volt sorry this is supposed to be amp 12 amp and i3 are outgoing so i can write 15 plus i1 plus i2 is equal to 12 plus i3 that is incoming is equal to outgoing or i can write it as I'll take 12 on this side. I can write 15 minus 12 is equal to we have I3 minus I1 minus I2. Or I can write 3 is equal to I3 minus I1 minus I2. So now in node analysis, we know that the current should be expressed in terms of node voltages. So here I3 can be expressed as v1 minus v3 divided by 4 so i can simplify this further as that is we have 3 is equal to here i3 is nothing but v1 minus v3 divided by 4 v1 minus v3 divided by 4 we have minus so so here i1 is nothing but 0 minus v1 divided by 8 that is nothing but minus v1 by 8 that is minus v1 by 8 Similarly, we have minus I2 that is minus. So I2 is also 0 minus V1 divided by 8. That is also minus V1 by 8. Let me simplify this. That is 3 is equal to here we have V1 minus V3 by 4. So this is V1 by 8 plus we have V1 by 8. Or I can write it as 3 is equal to this is v1 i will take v1 common here it will be 1 by 4 plus this is 1 by 8 plus this is 1 by 8 and here we have minus v3 by 4 that is minus v3 by 4 let me simplify this further so simplifying this i will get 3 is equal to the value of this will be 0 0.5 v1 minus 1 by 4 is 0 0.25 v3 let me call it as equation 1 so now let's apply kcl to node v2 it is now apply kirchhoff's current law to node v2 so in node v2 current 12 amp is incoming i7 is incoming i5 is incoming i6 is outgoing so incoming equal to outgoing that is 12 plus i5 plus i7 
12 plus i5 plus i7 is equal to i6 or I can write 12 is equal to i6 minus i5 minus i7 or I can write 12 is equal to so i6 i6 is the current flowing from v2 towards v3 that is v2 minus v3 divided by 2 i6 is v2 minus v3 divided by 2 minus we have i5 i5 is the current which is flowing from 0 towards v2 it will be represented as 0 minus v2 divided by 10 that is nothing but minus v2 by 10 so it will be minus v2 by 10 then minus i7 here i7 is the current which is flowing from 32 towards v2 so it is represented as 32 minus v2 divided by 4 32 minus v2 divided by 4 i will simplify this 12 is equal to this is v2 by 2 minus v3 by 2 so minus minus plus v2 by 10 so it will be minus 32 by 4 32 by 4 plus v2 by 4 so minus 32 by 4 is nothing but minus 8 i will take minus 8 on this side 12 plus 8 is equal to here we have let me take v2 as common so coefficient of v2 is 1 by 2 here coefficient of v2 is 1 by 10 here it is plus 1 by 4 and we have minus v3 by 2 or i can write it as 20 is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 10 plus 1 by 4 it gives 0 0.85 v2 minus 0 0.5 v3 so let me call this as equation 2 so now let's apply kcl to node v3 that is apply kcl to node v3 so here i3 i6 i4 are incoming i3 plus i4 plus i6 is equal to 0 so there is no any outgoing currents i3 i4 i6 are incoming i3 is nothing but v1 minus v3 divided by 4 v1 minus v3 divided by 4 plus i4 is nothing but 0 minus v3 by 10 that is minus v3 by 10 so i4 is minus v3 by 10 and we have i6 i6 is v2 minus v3 by 2 plus we have v2 minus v3 by 2 is equal to 0 let me simplify this will be this will be v1 by 4 minus v3 by 4 minus v3 by 10 plus v2 by 2 minus v3 by 2 let me simplify so here we have only one v1 term so v1 1 by 4 that is 0.25 v1 so we have v2 only one term that is 0.5 v2 here we have let me take v3 so it will be minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 10 and another v3 is minus 1 by 2 is equal to 0 so it gives 0 0.25 v1 plus 0 0.5 v2 so value of this will be minus 0 0.85 v3 is equal to 0 let me call it as equation 3 so now we have to simplify we have to solve equation 1 2 and 3 so here in equation 1 coefficient of v2 is 0 in equation 2 coefficient of v1 is 0 here all three terms are exist so 1 2 3 equations can be solved directly using calculator directly feed the values of calculator and write the values of v1 v2 v3 that is solving solving equation 1 2 3 
equations 1, 2 and 3 we get. So we have V1 is equal to 21.39 volts. V2 is equal to 41.638 volts and V3 is equal to 30.784 volts. So therefore we have to find power dissipated in 10 ohm resistor. So here I can write power 10 ohm is power dissipated in 10 ohm is equal to so in current through 10 ohm resistor is I4 so we have I4 square into R so I4 so I4 square that is minus V3 by 10 square into R R is 10 so simplifying this here we have V3 is 30.784 30.784 divided by 10 this is square into 10 so simplifying this you will get 94.74 watts this is the required result thank you for watching